Okay, next step is to make sure that these nail heads are punched just below the surface of the timber. So what we're looking for here, if you have your pinky finger resting on the timber and all the ends of your fingers holding that, you'll have better control. If you're holding it like this, less control. So nice and controlled and make sure it's sitting on there and it should do well if you just one big strike. If you end up with this and you have a big hole next to your nail, that's not going to get an A result. All right, so we're looking for nice, neat, single punches. Then what you can do is get your putty or your wood filler, ask your teacher where to get it, and you can get a paddle pop stick or a piece of uh, scrap timber or acrylic. And what we're doing here is filling up that. And you just want to have a little bit extra because what it does is it dries and shrinks as it dries. So you want a little bit extra on top because then it will dry flush. So how it looks there is good and you can sand that off later. This does dry out if you leave the lid off, so make sure the lid goes on as soon as you can and you can return that with it so it's ready to go for the next user.